Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through everything I ate today. I had a really good day of eating. I really enjoyed the meals that I made. This video is for anyone who is following a low carb or a ketogenic lifestyle or just anyone that wants to eat healthy. So let's just jump right into the video. For those of you who are familiar with me and my channel, you guys already know that I have to start every day with consuming a drink, especially since I practice intermittent fasting. I'll be introducing you to some of the beverages that I consume daily from Four Sigmatic. They are the sponsors of today's video and I love working with them because I genuinely love their products and consume their products. On my channel, you have seen me rave about drink and make different blends of the mushroom coffee mix. I love drinking this in the morning because it contains lion mane and chaga mushroom. So I'm getting the benefits of immune support with the chaga mushroom and a boost in productivity and focus with the lion's mane. I really love the fact that it is a dark roast and the Arabica beans, the taste is amazing. And shout out to every single one of you who have tried Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee Mix because of me and has told me how much they love the coffee. It is so good. But we're not gonna make that today. More than likely, I'm gonna end my day with this cacao mix. It has the reishi mushrooms, that helps promote relaxation and reduce the stress. It, it's just something that you can chill with at night and promotes a healthier sleep also. So I really do like this in the evenings. And to be honest, I'm running very, very low because I have been bodying this mix as well. Let me, guys, let, let me know in the comment section if you want a recipe on how I make this. It is so freaking good. So just let me know in the comment section. I've talked about this product on my channel before, but I want to reintroduce it. It is the mushroom blend mix. Now with the mushroom blend mix, there's a um, it has a variety of mushrooms in the blend. And with just two scoops of this right here, you can receive benefits of top functional mushrooms to help support your immune system. It's really good if you put it in your smoothies or your protein shakes. It's really, really tasty. And I highly do recommend this because of all of the nutritional benefits you receive from just two scoops of the mushroom blend mix and what we will be drinking today is a new favorite of mine this is the elixir mix the elixir mix contains chaga mushrooms which are like the king of mushrooms it can be used as an afternoon immune support drink I really do enjoy this as well it is a new favorite of mine you guys know I have my top top favorites um, so yeah this one is a new favorite of mine I do recommend starting your day off with this as well because of the chaga mushrooms and the help to your immune system. Be sure to click the link down below in my description box to receive up to 20% off plus free shipping on immune support bundles. Everything you need is down below in the description box as well as more information on these products that I showed you today. But let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I make my elixir mix. So you're gonna need a small saucepan and this is what you're gonna do here. You're gonna add two ounces of heavy cream to four ounces of water, or you can do half and half if that's up to you. Just make be sure to calculate your macros. And so I did a mixture of um, heavy cream and water and um, I'm using Swerve uh, brown sugar this is keto friendly a healthy alternative to sugar for those of you that are looking for better alternatives now this next step is not unnecessary but it is optional but however it takes this drink to a whole nother level i add a half a teaspoon of 100 percent pure choc dark chocolate cocoa powder just half a teaspoon is all you need i'm telling you it's not overbearing it's not overpowering but it just does something to the drink that i just can't explain and then of course you're going to need a half a teaspoon of organic vanilla extract the real stuff that if you are on a ketogenic lifestyle make sure you do not have sugar in your vanilla extract and so you want to let this come to a low boil once it's there turn off the fire as you can see i have my four sigmatic frother here you're going to need that if you just want a creamier texture or consistency you don't really need it but for me it's, it's just better now mind you i hate foam and bubbles but the frother just brings this to a whole nother level i promise you anyway um all i'm doing is frothing for a few minutes changing the consistency a little bit like making it a little thicker it's, and yeah that's what i have and i really wish i could smell this it smells so 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 good it tastes so so good it's so creamy yeah this has been a a real treat in the mornings 
And so now I'm going to show you how I actually break my fast. Now, this is hours later, probably like 2, 2.30. I'm breaking my fast. Now, I found these low-carb tortillas in my grocery store, and I saw the specs on this. It's absolutely phenomenal. The ingredients is absolutely phenomenal. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. So that day was my first time trying it. It was really good. I couldn't find the Ciate or Ciate um, brand, but my store had that. And so all I did was put in it, put it in a um, a frying pan, and I'm crisping it up a little bit. I did add a a little bit of uh, olive oil spray, just a tiny bit. You don't need much. And so yeah, just gonna get it crispy. And I'm just making a, a regular sandwich, like literally, I'm making a wrap, a turkey wrap. So all I do is add um, my mayonnaise, and I add about a tablespoon of mayonnaise because. I like mayonnaise. <laughs> I add a tablespoon of mayonnaise to my wrap right there. And then all I do is add some shredded um, romaine lettuce and as well as some onions. Now, all of this is to your tasting. Like you could put as little or as much as you want, but that's good right there for me. I add some salt, pepper, and vinegar to the mix. As you can see, I'm just adding a little bit of each to the mix, just a very tiny little bit because it gives it some mm, you know, and then I'm going to add my turkey. I'm going to add three slices of turkey because I came up to the proper uh, serving amount for my macros. And then I'm going to add two slices of some crispy ass bacon. OK, some crispy bacon right there. And this is what I came up with. I really love making this. Me and my niece body wraps like this every day. If you're inter interested in what bacon I use, this is the Trader Joe. Trader Joe's no sugar dry rub uncured bacon. We buy the good stuff in this house, okay? The good stuff. And they have a turkey version, but I don't really like the turkey version. Y'all know me. Pork bacon is the only pork I eat. So <laughs> you know. But yeah, it is so, so, so good. So good. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. And for my final meal, I'm making some stuffed salmon and I'm gonna show you how we do this. To a bowl, I have here some salted butter melted. I have four ounces of salted butter melted. To that, I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of the Louisiana Cajun mix because that is salty and so I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper. Now, if I have to gauge, I use about half a tablespoon. And then to this, I'm going to add one full tablespoon of um, seafood seasoning. Now, you can use any brand. They have the Red Lobster brand in the stores or this, that, and third. Just make sure you get you some good quality seafood seasoning. I added one whole tablespoon to that. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the onion salt from Trader Joe's. Like I always say, it doesn't even have that much salt in it, sodium in it. So you can, you're, you're fine with that. And then also, I'm just going to mix that. I forgot to mention, I added a quarter quarter um of an onion to that that's finely minced just a little bit of finely minced onion and I have about four cloves of garlic that is finely minced in that bowl as well and so you don't have to do what I'm doing here I'm just using my baster because I didn't want to touch my salmon so I have four salmon steaks here you can easily put it in a bag and put the marinade on it and do that okay you don't have to do what I did but to this bowl here I have four ounces of room temperature cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add two ounces of mayonnaise. Now in this bowl, I have here two spring onions finely diced. I have a quarter cup of white onions and I have four cloves of garlic finely minced. To that, I'm adding a quarter cup of red bell pepper and green pep bell pepper finely minced. Make sure it's really, really fine. Also, I have two types of shrimp here, all organic, fresh wild caught, I have artesian shrimp and then I have um, regular jumbo large shrimp, wild caught, no farm stuff. I um, I did half of half of each. I used six red artesian, six uh, wild caught regular jumbo shrimp. And then to this, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, season the lump mix as well. And I only use half a teaspoon of each seasoning. Now to this, I'm gonna add about one and a half ounces of this cheese mix here that I have from Trader Joe's. It is a cheddar and Gruyere mix. You can just stick to a Gruyere mix or even a Harvati cheese will work well here. The point is you do not want to overpower the dish with cheese, but you need a little, just a tiny bit. And to this, we are going to add eight ounces of really, really good lump crab, okay? Eight ounces of the good stuff. Do not buy the claw that's, that's not, you know, no, no, no. You want the good stuff. And then this is where it varies. If you are doing keto, you want to use 
chicken um chicken rinds all right instead of pork rinds use chicken rinds my grocery store did not have any so um if you can find the chicken rinds in your grocery store go ahead i use saltine crackers if you are low carb you can use the saltine crackers because i only used six saltine crackers for um the recipe okay so six crushed up really really fine saltine crackers divide that in four your carb specs are still going to be low um and I tried to do this recipe without the um, filling, needing the cra um, the crackers or the pork, the, the chicken rinds. It just doesn't really work out. So you're going to need it. All right, you guys. So I'm going to put my, um, salmon, my salmon steaks in a cast iron skillet like so. My oven is already preheated on 380 degrees Fahrenheit. You can even put it up to 400 if you want to. Um, but I pop mine under the broiler. So 380 is fine for me. Now, as you can see, my, my butter coagulated. So I would say season your salmon after. You don't want to season prior but because my salmon was cold and then the but the melted butter hit it it coagulated but that's totally fine it's like listen it was perfectly fine you're gonna dollop um some of the lump crab mixture on each salmon steak i um crossed the legs of the salmon steak to make sure every inch of it got lump crab okay we was not playing here okay we was not playing and so that's all you're gonna do is top your lump crab mix um and yeah, again, I do recommend a cast iron skillet for this, but you, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, go ahead and use um, a baking pan or whatever and line it with parchment. Um, you're going to top off the remainder of the bread, um, the cracker mix. But if you are using, like I said, if you're using um, chicken rinds for keto, go ahead um, and basically top off the rest with it so yeah i'm doing that with the cracker mix just the tiniest bit just topping it off so i wind up breaking like four more crackers and splitting splitting it amongst all four of um the salmon as you see here let me reiterate for those of you that may say oh crackers are not keto use chicken rinds you can use pork rinds if you want i just don't know what that's going to taste like but anyway after you bake it in the oven for approximately 15 minutes you want to put it under your broiler for an additional four minutes and this is what you should have right here this was so fire y'all know i get down in the kitchen when i tell you this is so freaking good i have this is like another very rate variation of stuffed crab on my channel um, stuffed salmon on my channel. I do have another recipe, which I'll link it for you guys if I could even find it. But for those of you that wanted an update on this recipe, boom. Ah there you go. It's so good. I promise you, you guys are going to be tagging me like, girl, 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 girl. It's so, so good. And make sure you put some good hot sauce on this, okay? Good hot sauce. This is how I had it with some sauteed kale and cabbage. It was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that was everything I ate, you guys. You guys know I do two meals a day now and keep it at that. I My stomach has gone down tremendously. In my next video, I'm going to do an update for you guys so that you guys can see my stomach. It is coming down, 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 hunty. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, down below in the description box, check out Four Sigmatic. And don't forget, you save 20% off using my link with Four Sigmatic. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.